Um, all right, so we're gonna start ranking all of the stages games. So let's start off, go left to right. Um, it won't matter. Uh, Okay. Alright. It fits that. It fits the idea of like your it's an invasion is about to start. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, it fits that idea where it's an invasion is about to begin. And trying to stop it. The beats are a bit kind of simple, I will say, though. Mm-hmm. It almost feels like a, uh, a Pirates of the Caribbean scene. Like a readying up for something, yes. Yeah, I give it a... Yeah, I kind of give it a five. What are you going to give it? Mm. Let's see. Oh, yes. Yeah, a six. All right, six. So. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Got a bit more upbeat to it. It sounds much more lively. It's also better because uh, with Outworld, it was always this wasteland that was always governed by Shao Kai, but now it's uh, it's actually it's this full-on place where there's actual people living in and enjoying their lives, kind of. <laughs> and right also, also on the background, you can see got like fireworks in the back it's a lot more festive there's a lot more fun happening in outworld than there is yeah instead of people just working out yeah look at the guy in the background just, so clapping, you look at just it. cheering some zero oh. on i give it a seven it, it doesn't go crazy but it's simple so i give it that it's like uh, it's not, it does like a good way of off, so I give it a seven. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. It's, it, it, okay. it sounds much more. Yeah, the tone is definitely there. We're in this. Mm. You're in this creepy place, you're now finding out what this man's been creating. All of these experiments have You see it all right there in the... Oh, this I will say, I music. feel like it could have been more important shit, though. I feel like they could have been more experiments to it. Oh, you... You caught out there for the, what we were saying? I feel like it could have been more... Um, it could have had more instruments. Like maybe a bit more castle-like with, uh, kind of make it feel Castlevania, you know? Mm, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, wait, hold up. It sounds a bit as an opera, so I give it a six. Okay, now it has a good start to it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> We're about to have an epic showdown here. Yes. Or, or, yeah, no, 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 an epic training montage. You're about to just have this amazing training sequence. Yeah, I'd say eight.
Mm, yeah, same thing. Hey. It deserves all the eight. No, not the tea house. Yes, I need to look up the tea. Yes, the tea house. Always the tea. It sounds so fun in here. First stage the fight. I love it. It's a, it's a, it mixes a dojo with this restaurant. This restaurant. I love it. It sounds so yeah. chill and relaxing, especially for the starting area of both the game and as a stage. Mm -hmm. so, you can also see how expressive a lot of the characters are, which is basically better. The, a lot of the enemies that are fight or fun. See, yeah, look, you can see Madame Bo reacting in the background. <laughs> Or like, how, or like how in the story where you're just fighting and the old the dude there just drinking probably when all yeah. that was happening. <laughs> definitely. Nine. Definitely a nine. The temple. Alrighty, it's streaming. Yes. In the Nina Jones. Mm hmm. <laughs> Music sounds is pretty much though a uh, ritual is about to begin. Uh, you just triggered a evil in this player. Yeah, you know. You know as soon as you hear this, you fuck. Enter the. Oh, gosh, I don't even know. I need even... Jones. <laughs> I don't. I only seen like the third movie and that was it. I really need to brush up on it. Damn, you, you an imposter. I know. <laughs> You're a fake. No, don't tell Mike. Do not tell Mike. I shot because he, he mains the Indiana Jones skin all the time. Okay, anywho, I'm, uh, I'll just give, uh, I'll be nice and just give it a 7.5. Just because I give an extra 0. 0.5 just because of how bad I don't know much about Indiana Jones. Boo this man, <laughs> boo. The big thing I love about this is it feels very imperial to me. It doesn't it feel in, a, in the presence of the Empress of Outworld. You're in, enter this, you're in fighting for her pleasure or for Professor, and she's watching us along, along with Outworld. Uh, yep, no pressure at all. Also, the beat, I love how the beat is for the beat is so well done. Mm, yeah, I can feel it. Bro, the keys on this. I feel like I feel like an old nostalgic for like older games. Like I feel like I feel like the beat to it. Oh, listen to it now. It's getting fat. Oh, it gets fat. Ooh. Ten. I give it ten. Okay, that oh, I love that sequence transition. Okay, that well done. Mhm. Mm With the climax, too, like it's very technical. Yeah, it's like like they show they're showing the evil leader and like their whole world, yeah. their operation, and all that stuff. Yeah. 
Mm. But I can't remember, I really can't remember how the old one went from the original Flesh Pits. It did well with this one. I think they definitely nailed it with this one. I give it yeah. 9. Right now for the... 8 Fortress. King. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds so crazy, this one. All right, keep going, keep going, don't stop. Build it up. Mm-hmm. Is that type of theme you hear during, like, a chase sequence or a infiltration? Because mm -hmm. it fits both that, because that's what happens in the story. Because, yeah, you, you infiltrate the fortress and you're trying to run out as well. And then you do a complete raid on it. So it, it, it clears both the, all three of those boxes. Also, this one is. I, I kind of also want to lower it because, like, it's odd. It's also another one that has, like, a tough sign on it. Like, a third. No, third or second one that has that. What well, kind of throws it off the of, like... I'll at least do 8.5. Okay, now you're gonna love this one. Oh, the pyramid. The pyramids? You know they're based on alien technology, right? Yep. No. No. The final battle has begun. Yes, yes, the yes, yes. The final battle is here, and this is where you shall be fighting. Yes, I feel it. The chorus drop. Oh. It reminds me so much of how well done it was for like, the boss fighting in Mario Galaxy by Bowser. 10. Yep, down here. Oh, what's weird? It doesn't. The odd thing with this one is, is that it kind of feels the same as the Fire Temple and the Tea House of the Moon. Yeah, it does. Where you're, uh, it's, it, you're trying to train here, or it's, it's, you're pretty, it feels like it's trying to hit those, um, check those boxes off the way. Yeah. Because it's a nice stage, because it's also meant to be the Power Glass, and it's where, like, time is. In the center of the or where the unit also found that hourglass. Yeah. The problem is, is that they kind of they kind of have that feel with a lot of the other uh, temple based area. So I kind of give it a uh, seven because we've heard it a bunch of times already. <laughs> Oh, okay, the flutes are a big change. I was hoping to hear some flute at some point throughout this whole game. And I was surprised to hear this one has I was so glad to hear that from Especially with this one, because, yeah, look look at all the loot here. Look at the loot. Because you only fight here a few times, and that's only to, like, escape. But while you're here, you just are fighting in front of all this loot. Hey. 
Okay, okay. I'd say A. Hmm. Again, the foods come back. Now here's the thing, I'd say 10, but it's I don't, it's not as good as the OG one from MKX, or no, not X, uh, 9 or 2. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's kind of being its own thing, which I respect. I do definitely respect that, so I give it a 9 for that. It just does not, it's not, it's not as close to the OG one. Left, right, down, triangle. Ah, damn it, I didn't pull it. I didn't pull it. It kind of reminds me of the gardens they had in MK9 in a way. I'd say much more upbeat and relaxing in a way, because I'd say with how it was sounding in, uh, the, gar the garden place in 9. It was mm -hmm. much more threatening in the way. There was like more urgency to it being attacked constantly in that area. While it's here, you're only fighting here three times. Mm -hmm. It sounds much more. I think it sounds way too relaxed, kind of, don't you think? Kind of does, yeah. Yeah, I have to give it a, a 6. It sounds way too relaxing. This is what gave everyone hope in Mortal Kombat music again. This track alone. The beats in this one, I'd say, gave us hope. No, no. Who was doing it? Uh, the same person who done music that will make Ride. Ooh. It brings back that techno vibe that you were that was in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> the big thing that you would associate with music in Mortal Kombat would always be techno scene. <laughs> that, that was the one thing that we would always associate with Mortal Kombat is techno syndrome and the rest of the soundtrack for Mortal Kombat movie. For my first fatality. Yeah, so. Yeah, as I said before, with uh, the Fire Guardian house and the Hourglass, it's a dojo, mm -hmm. it's a training field, it's preparation. Eight. I think it's an eight. I give it. Sounds so lively. It makes me think of like those Zelda villages you can visit. Mm -hmm. Like you just see like all those like happy people in the Zelda village, and you're just about to like buy something from them or like play a game with them for rupees. Mm -hmm. So it kind of throws me off on that because this place is most. A place where all the Tarkons are set for anyone who caught with having Tarkai as a disease. So I got it. It's funny and a bit odd as well. But I love the beat to it, so because it's a bit more interesting than a lot of the others. So I say, oh. I give it. I give it. You gonna give it? Eight. I say. 
I mean, I, I like it. Yeah, I, I kind of want to, I want to give it a nine, but it kind of, it, it almost ignores the, it's um, narrative in a way, which I'm kind of happy about. Oh, I'll give it at least an 8.5 because it like it kind of guards it. But I'll give it the respect for that. It's trying to still be the the living wood, the living forest, while also trying to be dramatic as possible. Mm -hmm. It's kind of. I'd say it's a seven. It feels like it's might. It's trying a bit too hard. Now for the last one. Dragon Army. Ooh. Best stage design in my opinion. The Dragon Army. Yep. So what's wrong with that? Chilling sounds? You know, I, I give this all already a 10 out of 10. You're already giving it a 10. <laughs> already a 10. Dude. I like it. it. It's awesome. The dragon army and the map in the back and everything, it matches. Exactly. Especially because the army is just it's about to be ready. They're just all waiting to be resurrected. It's about to go down. You have the giant amulet in the background. Oh my gosh. They knew what they were trying to do. They just don't feel happy that a big homage to the era. But just so much arrow up. Happy to 10 out. And that I wanted, aside from like changes, but changes to the, the music was definitely lacking 11. I think the only thing that's lacking is the menu music. The menu music is the only thing that's lacking because they, it doesn't change. It stays the same as you go into the character select screen. Because normally it it's supposed to change when you're at that type of screen. Mm. So for them to keep that same type of music, I kind of hate. I kind of was not happy about that. I would just rate that sure. a... Uh, I honestly rate it a... If I had to give the rating for the menu, I kind of give it a... You will hate it. I give it a six. Or no, I, it's like a four, because like, the problem is is that it sounds dramatic, and then it sounds lively, and then it, there's no like in-between. But like, it's a weird back and forth they have with it. 